The Financial Times asked its readers which three big auto companies had partnered with Google to build a self-driving car. Ford, GM, Fiat Chrysler. The answer was Bosch, Continental and Delphi, three of the industry's global tech suppliers. The proportion of a car's value that comes from its electronics has doubled in the last decade, and as tech giants pack vehicles with technology, their power within the industry expands. Google and Apple guard details of their auto R&D. Speculation surrounds driverless cars, how they will disrupt the commuting experience, creating sitting rooms on wheels, and possibly challenge car ownership. Why own a car when a hired one comes to your door? More than a dozen alternative car fuels are also in development or being explored. But a super smart car slowed by traffic is still a slow car. And by 2050, the planet's 9 billion residents will need another way to commute fast. The gradual rollout of high-speed rail, mainly across Russia, Asia and Western Europe, will transform land-based journeys with speeds of up to 400 kilometers an hour. A rail trip from Moscow to Kazan, which today takes close to 13 hours, will take just three and a half. The aviation industry is focused on ecologically cleaner aircraft and safety, deploying satellites to support air traffic control, given a projected doubling of passenger numbers in the next two decades. The transportation of goods is in a revolution too. Delivery drones, once considered science fiction, may soon be the norm. And Hyperloop has taken the drone's place as the radical new concept Faster than a plane, cheaper than a train, with zero carbon emissions. This new system, based on depressurized tubes, is being test built in California next year by Tesla's founder, Elon Musk. Transportation was once synonymous with diesel, and then Detroit. Today, it's about disruption. <laughs>